bottom of the screen here and a closer look at our note editor or our detail editor as I believe Bitwig refers to it. So you can access this by uh, clicking our um, show note editor panel button right here, hide access, or you can highlight and double click the clip that you want to take a look at. Shouldn't look too unfamiliar to you, like most DOWs, who's got the piano roll here, which, uh, you know, works lower and higher as far as pitch. And you can uh, select and place your notes wherever you like them. You can highlight them. You can, uh, using the arrow key on your keyboard, move them up, move them down, left, right, however you like. And just as in the uh, arrangement view, my scrolling in and out, my zooming in and out is all set by the uh, adaptive grid adjuster here. You can turn this on or off. You can choose your different 16, 32, 64s, things of that nature. Uh, you can all do also do the uh, absolute snap feature here that we've already covered, um, the relative snapping and um, snapped objects. So all that applies here in the node editor as well. So let's see. As before, I'll pull up the inspector just to show you what it's going to... It's going to give us some features here on notes now that we weren't seeing from the audio clips that we were looking at earlier. So we've got our um, gain, pan, pitch, timber, duplicate, quantize, legato, reverse, reverse pattern, octave up, op octave down buttons, which is kind of nice. You can just click the button, takes you up an octave, takes you down an octave scale up scale down so inspector as far as note editor a little different gives us the key the velocity you can also access some of the other features like gain pan and timber right there and one of the other cool features is if I duplicate this clip and B make a couple copies. Now if I actually go in here and right click, say I want to make this one a different color and this one a different color, it'll actually keep that information right down here in the editor for us. So we can, if need be, can go in and individually edit clips. Like if I want to shorten this one here, I shorten it, it's going to respond in the arrangement view as well. So I'm able to edit right here and have it respond in the uh, arrangement view. Kind of a nice little, nice little deal there. As well, if I wanted to say delete, it's going to take it out of the arrangement. It's going to take it out of here. So let's move on to the next video and look a little deeper into the note editor and look at some note expressions.